Well, the third round of the FIA World Rally Championship, powered by Nokia, is done and dusted. Rally Mexico, day three is over. Does that make it sound as if we've had a dull day here? Let me tell you, we have not had a dull day. One of the most dramatic days, Jules. The start of the day, we had Sebastian Loeb, Miko Harvin, and comfortably in first and second place. Behind them, Yari Mati Latvala of Ford and Peter Solberg of Ford. Latvala, though, Jules, he's had a biggie out there today. That's it in the big stage. The 54K had a massive roll. Uh, he got it to the end of the stage, but the car was too badly damaged to continue. It was a very emotional Latvala on that road section. But Novikov had an even bigger accident in that stage. Both were OK, but that car wasn't going any further from what we saw. There was all sorts of other dramas. Block had two punctures. Mads Salzburg had a puncture. Chris Atkinson didn't make it through. 54 Ks on a Sunday. I have to say, I thought it's what we really wanted, to be honest, because there was a big sting in the tail. An absolutely huge sting in the tail in Rally Mexico here. Uh, just drama plenty on the final day. But Josie, we've got to talk first about Sebastian Loeb. Sebastian Loeb takes win number six here in Mexico. His teammate Miko Harvin is second. A brilliant weekend for the boys from Citroen. It was a brilliant weekend from Citroen and uh, they just seem to be able to do it and Loeb seems to be able to do it here as well. I mean, six times. Yari, uh, sorry, Miko saying yesterday at one point when I asked if it had kind of been told to hold station, he goes, even if I wasn't, I can't catch him, he's so quick. So uh, Loeb just, is just awesome here. I mean, he's awesome everywhere, but particularly here. I don't know what it is about these roads and Sebastian Loeb in a Citroen, but he just he never put a mark on that car. No punctures, no, no damage, nothing. He just seems to be able to go faster than anybody else and do less damage. So the Citroens are 1-2. Peter Solberg in third place. One of the best starts to a season he has had in many, many years. Two podiums, two third places and a fourth place already this year for Peter Solberg. Great stuff from him. Further down the leaderboard, Mads Osberg finishes fourth. Oit Tanak, his best ever finish in the World Championship in fifth place. Just behind him, Nasser Alatia, his best ever finish in the World Rally Championship. And then... Armando Arujo, seventh place, his best ever finish in the World Rally Championship. Best ever finishes, isn't there? There are a lot of happy boys out there this evening, but there are one or two very sore and very sad boys, in particular, Yari Mati Latvala and Evgeny Novikov. But Jules, it has been a great, great event here in Mexico. There have been one or two issues, but as always, a great atmosphere and wonderful competition. It's a brilliant event, it really is. It's saying of our first gravel rally of the year. We have it's the same place in the calendar every year. And you come here, the sun's shining, everybody seems to be in a great mood. The stages are brilliant, they're super fast, they're super smooth, and they do cause drama. And that's what, we want drama in this sport, you know what I mean? We want like people like pushing to the limit and everything, and uh, Mexico all seems to do that. Well, it is rallying the most dramatic and the most exciting motorsport in the world, and we have had an exciting and dramatic weekend here in Mexico. We look forward next to Rally Portugal in oh, two or so weeks' time. Hope you've enjoyed our Nokia videos here from Rally Mexico. Make sure that you tune in for our videos from Portugal in two weeks' time.